I have not decided which one it's going to be yet. Um, I kind of already started the tutorial. But I can't really remember them. But I do know it took me nigh on three hours to do something just like these three tutorials here. So, I think the best thing to do is to just start a new game and let's just wing it. Let's just see what happens. So, start a survival game which allows you to choose mission sponsor, commander, profile, rocket payload and landing luck. It's it's already way over my station. Um, I don't think challenge mode is a good idea. Challenge yourself. That, no. Uh, to accomplish a specific objective within a time limit. No. Creative mode. Create a colony that you imagine and test how it works without worrying about the survival threats. What do you reckon? Shall we go in for creative where we haven't got to worry about anything or do we just start a new game? I'm presuming creative is there is no limitations to what we can do. A bit like on, um, what do you call it? Thing, stuff, new game. You scumbag! Well, really? Um, yeah. Well, we, we we you can't really dart new game. Oh my god! Wow. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Welcome in without. Seriously, you want me to start a new game? Right. Let's go survival then. It's all your fault. Hashtag blame chat when this all goes breasts up. You go, all right, Stephen. All right, calm down, dude. Calm down, it's fine. I've hit the button now. Well, this is gonna, this is gonna, yeah. Yeah, I already know. I already know this is going to go horribly wrong. But here we go. Um, yeah, you see, I'm lost already. Mission setup. Difficulty challenge 120%. What? <clears throat> okay. International Mars mission. What are the other options we've got here? Oh, hello. Oh, okay. I'll tell you what, to be fair, right, how about if we random everything? Oh, I can't. Can I random that? Can you, can I random? All right, let's go. Uh, don't panic. I'm having that as my logo, as my colony logo. Don't panic. It's fine. <laughs> Mystery, random. Difficulty needs to be 20%. Look, that's 220. Game rules. Oh my god. What, so these are all... Oh, they're all off. I'm presuming. Does that say Armageddon? Holy... Wow. No events. Disable all random events except anomalies. Boredom always precedes a period of great creativity. All right, screw you. Here we go. All right, so can we get can we get this down then? What is that? Okay, well, that's one ten. That is the lowest we've got. I love this Conley logo. And <laughs> Brussels sprouts. Why? There we go. Right, I think. Is that about right? Commander profile. 2000 additional starting funding. Bonus require outkeep less often. Bonus tech.
Select game rules you want to activate for this playthrough. I don't want to activate any. Next! Holy crap. I can't remember any of this. I really can't. Avril hashtag one. Oh, can we, can we rename the ship? Rename. <laughs> yes, we can. Oh, dear. Um, well, that's going to have to be... Uh, Crash landing one. Okay. Yes. Uh, needed for construction of certain materials on Mars. Browse prefab buildings. Oh, I s ah. Okay. This is going to come down with already. One drone hub, one moisture vape vaporator. Wow. Fuel refinery and a sterling generator. One RC explorer. Six drones. Ten polymers, fifteen machine parts. Ten electronics and three orbital probes. Select landing spot. Uh, there. Can I? Oh, I can just. Oh, should we go up to near the top? Arabia Alpha. <gasps> oh, this seems to be like in a crater. That seems to be dark. Right, relatively flat. Threats. Nah. Yeah. This is better. Oh, that's rough though. That's a bit rough. Relatively flat. Got a chance to meet yours. Whoa. Who won't want some of them? Cold waves. As long as it's relatively flat and I want kind of less less of these but more of resource. Don't really know what dust devils are, but they're devils, so that can't be overly good. This one's not too bad. We've got quite a bit of metals, not a lot of concrete though, but plenty of water. Ooh. I oh, see that's a rough terrain though. I don't like that. I think this one's going to be our best. Xenthi Alpha. Oh, there we go. Oh, see that's steep. I need it flat to start with. I can't, I won't be able to function if it's not. So we're going to go for this one. <clears throat> I'm going to see how we get on. Right, now if memory serves, we have to send our drones and everything out first. <clears throat> oh yay, finally. Something's, I'm downloading something as well. And all of a sudden, it's just suddenly decided that now's the time it's going to click and download. Jesus. Right, I can shut that now, thank you. Lovely. Welcome to Mars, Commander. Mission Control, Log 1. Everyone at Mission Control is impatient to see the rocket touching down and unloading its precious cargo. Me. Our remotely controlled eyes and hands on the red planet, the drones and rovers, our goal is to secure a foothold for humanity by building the first Martian dome. This daunting endeavour will allow the brave pioneers, the founders, to settle on Mars and prove that the colony is sustainable. But until then, we have to make sure the colony has enough construction resources, water, 
oxygen and power. Mission sponsor, Europe. Commander profile, city mayor. <clears throat> right, where are we going to put this thing? Locking an object. Um, <clears throat> let's pop this. Down here. Right. <coughs> Excuse me. Right. W S A and D. Yes. Tilt and rotate. Hold them. Scroll wheel or Alt and move the mouse. Zoom. Scroll wheel. Overview mode. Maximum zoom out or M. Really? Oh yeah. Cool. Permanent builders are constructed by drones. Open the build menu. Let the building based on the desired location. Suggested building a large solar panel will generate electrical power required for other buildings. Okay. So it's a bit like anything else. Then we need to get the power. I'm presuming power and water in first. What have we got here? What's this? Um, <clears throat> I can't remember how to get stuff out. Ah, there's the drone. Remote control explosion vehicle that can analyse anomalies. Okay, so let's send you over there, please. Detecting anomalies readings at this location and RC Explorer vehicle can analyse the anomaly. Yeah, I've just done that. Go on. Ah, wrong button. <clears throat> Where are my... One of my drones. Let's go and do that. Now I think I need to build a um is it under production. Storages. Universal depot. Let's pop one of those down here. Hold shift to place multiple. That's what I wanted. Gonna go for four of those, I think. <coughs> Use the controls on the HUD or the following shortcuts to control the game speed. Oh, okay. What the... Controlled by a drone hub rocket or RC commander. Uh, 
Ah, it's bringing all the stuff out of what we've got down here. Gotcha. Gotcha. Right. And then you're going to go and remove these deposits. Generates power during daytime, closes. <clears throat> <clears throat> what am I going to need here? We are going to need water, that's a definite. Have we got anything that we can... Got any water on this map at all anywhere? Research complete. Anomaly analyzed. Milestone achieved. Yeah, what is it though? Come on. Really, game, you're just not gonna. Thank you. Sector scanned. <coughs> found. Deploy an orbital probe and scan this sector. All right, let's do one out this way as well. There we go. Love it. Right, I need water, and I don't think I think we've got any. Um, where's the time? Right. I forgot how hard this is to get started, you know. <clears throat> the tutorial. Crap, that was a meteor. <laughs> That didn't. <laughs> I think that just blew up one of my drones. No, 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 no. Oh, you scumbag. No. You. Why are you not scanning? There we go. Right, I'm scanning that at least. We've got some. Yeah, we've got some stuff. We've got to get these scanned and uh, excuse me, work out what we're doing. Um. We would use some help with sector scanning. New deep space curse will be launched to scan the cosmos from a point even further out than Mars. Cool, that's another RC on its way. Let's 
So we can now scan other things, I think. We've just found Beagle 2, or at least what's left of it. Over the years, over two-thirds of the missions sent to Mars ended in disaster. And this one. The tragic curse of events... Course of events, sorry, attributed to bad luck, human error, or simply to the in <coughs> inevitability of shooting blind in the dark. Created a dark humour revolving around the great galactic ghoul, which feeds on the exploration probes and the mystery of the Martian Triangle. One of the best equipped probe missions to Mars was Beagle 2, which failed dramatically in the last minutes before landing. Found by the parachutes and the treacherous Martian atmosphere, the brave little probe crashed at fatally high speed against the Red Desert. Effective reduces the cost of robotics text by 10%. Right, um, what are we going to research? Robotics, physics, social. We've got all these. Do that, I think. <clears throat> Concrete extractor. Wow. Okay, that's fine. I don't need that. Um... The water extractor. Concrete extractor. Where is that concrete? I haven't found any concrete yet. How can I build a concrete extractor when I haven't found any concrete? Okay, this is baffling me somewhat because these aren't scanning for me and I don't actually know why. Why won't you scan? This is why I do need a tutorial. For definite. Because you're supposed to be able to do that. It, no. Uh, a complete higher priority task before lower priority ones. Building with higher... Yeah, I get that. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, 
Um, See, now that is metal, so why won't it let me build? Uh, maybe I can build a metal. I don't bloody know. It's ridiculous. I'm going to have to do the tutorials again. There's no two ways about it. I thought, I oh know, I'll play it and it'll all come back to me, but it's not. I, I thought, you see, I mean, that's uneven terrain. I think I may have plant, parked, parked the thingy a bit close. Right. It's no good. Hey Paul, how are we doing dude? Yeah, possibly possibly dude. I'm thinking about doing that a bit later on tonight. I'm going to have to start the tutorial. I don't want to put you guys through the tutorial again. But. If I can do the tutorial and then I'll hopefully. There's no one in anyway so. Maybe the um. Maybe it's the best time to knock out the tutorial. Welcome to Mars. Um. About half eight. Paul. Oh. R roughly. Uh, okay. Hints such as this one will appear throughout the training process, giving useful information on how to advance in your current. You need to master the camera controls. Yeah. And familiarize. Done that. Zoom in. Yes. Move it round. Yes, it's fine. And we're doing M1 as well. Thank you. Now it's time to land your first rocket. Can do that. With the rocket selected, designate a landing site on the indicated location. I can do this bit. It's the resources. It's hunting for resources. Where I'm getting a little bit... Triggered. And we have touched down. Right. The rocket has landed on Mars. Gather five metals and metal deposits. Okay. So what am I doing wrong then? Follow the arrows to choose the metals depot. Okay. Metals depot, fine. Where does that want to go? Not too bad, Paul, actually. Not too bad at all. I've not broke too much. Our 
rocket carries valuable resources that will be essential for the construction and maintenance of the colony. Initially, it's best to designate a universal depot, so the drones have a place to stay. Okay, universal depot, that's fine. We can do that. Let's pop that. I don't know, somewhere near the rocket, I presume, it would be better. Along with metals, concrete is the other vital basic construction resource. Uh, this is what I didn't understand. Select the concrete extract and place it at the proposed location. I think this is it over here, right? And I got a horrible feeling that I parked my rocket in the wrong place. Like that. Yeah. Well done. Now observe how the drones will carry all the resources to the site and then construct the concrete extractor. Well, yeah, you're going to get Meadow Grove will be um, converted middle of next month. So Oakfield, Oakfield's in testing right now. So there'll be there'll be some there'll be some out. A season's ready map dropped on FBM today, according to Gav as well. So I haven't checked that out yet either. But oi, what are you doing? Go on. Uh -uh. Right, um, nabs of how the drones will carry all the resources to the site and then construct the concrete excavator. The construction will finish more quickly on the fastest game speed. Let's do that. Uh, forbidden mods. Like most buildings, the concrete extractor needs power in order to operate. Having a reliable electrical grid and supply is essential for the success of the colony. Right. Construct a sterling generator. Yes, Paul. Yes, totally. Connected to the concrete excavator. Okay. Right, so I need power sterling generator. Where's that going to go? Here. Like that. Connect the sterling generator and the concrete extractor using a power cable from the build menu to power up the extractor. To go from the edge. Resources are low. Cool. Waste rock is a byproduct of all extractors and is best stored at designated locations. Dumping site and a concrete this depot to store the extra extra the extracted concrete. The dumping site and a concrete depot. Okay. So if we put some concrete down. Um, we better do three of those, I think. And if we pop our dumping site around, maybe at the back of here, possibly. Drones will pick pending tasks on their own within the range of the drone controllers they are assigned to. Build a drone hub and make sure it is supplied with power. That's why I was struggling. I need a drone hub. Uh, we 
need some electric cabling. I'm getting there now, I think. I don't think, unless it's straight from Mod Hub, I don't think any sites are a hundred percent safe. That have to be recharged periodically. Build a recharge station near the concrete excavator. I did wonder whether they could go over the what the, the the wire but they can a steady cool supply chain between earth and mars is essential especially during the early colonization stages right cool so we need charging stations Whew. build a moisture evaporator and then a fuel refinery <sighs> moisture evapor oh my god Trying to think about where. I think that's got to come away from there. Now a f fuel refinery. We'll pop that. Yeah, I can build that right next to that if I want to. I don't think that's wise. We'll pop that there. Now I'm presuming we need to connect them up. Like that, and I think it was there. I don't think we're going to have enough power, though. We Trying to build my own colony. For all the buildings in the colony. So basically, we're trying to build, turn Mars into a sustainable planet where we can build and thrive our own community. Um, put another sterling generator. Can do that. Um, how about we pop it in there? A system of pipes is used to deliver resources such as water and air where they are needed. Moisture evaporator has to be connected with pipes to a f to the fuel refinery. Connect the moisture evaporator to the fuel refinery with the pipes. Okay, so it was kind of what I wanted to do then. Um, pipes. Gotcha. Right, so we need to go from... Well, that's fairly simple then, like that. Fuel production is now underway, and the drones will begin to deliver the fuel to the rocket. Okay. For the purposes of the, this tutorial simulation, the rocket needs far less fuel. Okay. Refuel the rocket.
Do I need... Is it just going to take it straight from the refinery? That's what I'm wondering. Yes, it is. That's fine. Well, that's not too... I don't think we're doing too badly. In all fairness, I think that could have been... That could be worse. It could be worse, I think. So let the rocket and press the launch button. Well, I can't really help the resources, can I really? Trying to get a screenshot if I can. Um, hey, right. So while that, oops, while that buggers off back to Earth. Uh, Congratulations, you have finished the first tutorial. Right, I think I've got that now. I think I understand now. I don't know whether to. Commander, in this training exercise, you will get acquainted Shush. with one of your most valuable tools, rovers. The RCs. Don't know whether to actually go in and. Uh, Start the game now. Now let's try moving around. Do that. So that's there. There. Move to there, please. The RC transport can load and carry. Load fuel to the RC up. transport and unload it next to the rocket. To refuel the nearby rocket. Right. So you need to come. And load. Resources. No. Load those, please. It is, Paul, to be honest. But I'm hoping once I get to grips with it because I did the tutorial and then never played it again or did three parts of the tutorial and then never played it again so but I've been playing City Skylines and uh, this is way more complex than City Skylines is but um, it's really interesting though where the hell's the rocket exactly what's oh, there no it's the only problem when you, you click a button and it just goes, no, I'm going to go over there now. Dude, where are you going? No, no, not you. How long have you been called dude? Maybe it's full, actually. Speed up. Oh, okay, so we're going to do it this way, are we? That's fine. Moon Village? What the hell is that, dude?
Hang on, click on that and click on the fuel depot. Wait. Oh, can think I'm playing. What the hell's the fuel depot then? Uh, Paul, te uh, 16 bits. Thank you, dude. Appreciate it, buddy. Load 30 fuel onto the RC transport to continue. Well, I've just done that, haven't I? What did I have? That's only 17 fuel, is it? Right, hang on a minute. Why are you physically not moving, my friend? Thank you. Nope. For some reason... It will not do anything for me. I think I had problems with this in the last one. I think I have to unload it. When the fuel icon pops up... To fill all of the available space in your RC transport with fuel. <laughs> right. Good. Right, now you are done. Fine. Come over here. Thank you. I had to un... I didn't... <gasps> it's there. Oh, have a look at that, doll. Yeah, because I stopped it halfway through... Order the RC transport to unload the fuel next to the rocket. Give command to unload resource on the storage depot or on the ground. Excuse me. Um, on target to select it. Select target mode. Unload resource. We'll have, I'll have to have a look at that flashing lights update. Wait for the drones to bring the fuel inside the rocket, then select the rocket and launch it. Oh, finally, doll. I've been, yeah, I've been waiting for that update. I'm not going to do no more videos on that, um, but I will do a live stream on it. <laughs> so that should be fun. Done. Some drones are left without a controller after the rocket launch. Assign these drones to a nearby drone hub. We need a drone hub. Then drag to select all four orphaned drones. Once selected, use the reassign action to reassign to the drone hub back at the base. Oh, okay. Ah, gotcha. Assign to target hub. So now that will bugger off back over there then. transport is able to gather resources directly from surface deposits without the help of drones. Send the RC transport to gather some materials from the deposit indicated by the arrow. Gather five metals. Not a problem. Where are you? Oh, there's just so much I want to do, doll. Oh. Minecraft is the next thing.
Minecraft is the next thing. Let's set up a small expand some distance away from the main base. Set a transport route between the universal storage in the base and the marked location above the main base. Um, select the rover and use the create transport route. Wait a minute. Away. Select the rover. With the command activated, the universal depot. As the starting point of the route. <coughs> Got a load of resources. All. And then we need to go to. Nice work. Unload resource. Right, so that should be unloading down here now. Yay! Yeah, Scum's... Yeah, Scum is it's a fairly good game. Move the RC commander to the site of the ex expand. What? <coughs> Mobile drone controller that carries its own drones. With its help, you can gather resources from the surface to construct and maintain buildings. When moving far distances, the RC commander will first recall its drones before moving off its destination. Move the RC commander to the site of the expand. Gotta be over here then, surely. Select the RC commander. Select Give command to move or repair drones We need to construct Thank you. new sensor towers Jesus. in the nearby environment. New sensor tower. Construct a sensor tower and a sterling generator to power it. How do I, how do I not highlight that? 
Okay, center tower. I'm presuming you want to go there. And... Sterling generated a power it, huh? Good job. The construction might take some time until the RT delivers all the needed resources, blah blah blah. <clears throat> I might have to try and play this off camera. Try and get through the tutorial. Um, do I need power cables from there? Do I? It's time to learn about scanning sectors and exploration. Go to the map overview. You can scan sectors of the map to discover new resources and anomalies. Use a probe to explore a sector. That's wrong, doesn't it, really? Right, probe, and we're going to go for... You can also queue sectors for scanning. Add that one to the queue. Uh, you can queue up to well done. 10. Oh. Now it's time to use our fully operational RC Explorer to analyze the anomaly. Anomaly found. RC Explorer. Good job. Scan it. Come and scan the anomaly. The anomaly has yielded interesting insights into new technologies. Ooh. Open the research screen. This is the research screen. From here, you can choose and queue techs for research. Queue at least one technology for research. Commander. Okay. One other thing. Close the research screen to complete the tutorial. Nice work. Now you know how to handle rovers. Really? Not sure I do. Mind you, we seem to be flying through this tutorial, actually. Welcome, Commander. It looks like this forward base has gone through a major dust storm. You'll learn how to handle power, life support grids, and building maintenance as... Well, as how to construct your first dome. Awesome. First things first. Let's remove some unnecessary structures. Salvage the concrete excavator. And how do I do that exactly? Okay. Speed this up. Now, let's get that drone hub operational. Power the drone hub with the help of a solar panel. Um, under electricity, solar panel, going to build that there, obviously, because it's telling us to. There we go. We some power, but it's not enough. Set the drone, hub. the drone hub. It's a high priority. There we go. We can use the machine parts left from the concrete extractor to build a wind turbine. 
Construct a wind turbine and connect it to the existing power network. Um, that one, wind turbine, we're going to pop that there. I'm presuming that is going to be connected because it's right next to it. All these little drones are about there, they're just not doing anything. Even with the wind, there we go. There won't be enough electricity to power the base, especially during the night. Disable the night shifts of the moisture evaporator and fuel refinery. Night shift on. You managed to get things operational, but this won't last as buildings require maintenance and we are out of resources. Examine the broken down. <laughs> we need more metals to secure this base. Use the RC transport to collect some metals and transport them back. Deliver at least 20 metals to the base with the help of the RC transport. This will take a while, so you might want to speed up time. Are low. I did that. That's going to go over here. What does it say? At least 20 metals. I've only got 16 so far. There we go. It's 20 metals. Let's... Unload resource. Good job. However, we need more than just metals. Fortunately, we can call a resupply rocket from Earth. Good. What's the best survival game? Oh, that's... Oh, that's a hard question, dude. Um... It's either gonna be... Hang on. 20 polymers. Machine parts and electronics, okay. <sighs> Let's do some clean. It's either gonna be the forest for the rocket to arrive. Stranded deep or subnautica. Select the ruins of the concrete extractor and use the clear action to add a drone to remove the ruins. Very true, Gav. Very, very true. Now, let's remove some of the unnecessary cables. Remove the cables that were connected to the concrete excavator. Um, salvage tool. Where is the... This set? No. How do I find the salvage tool again?
Ah, right, hang on. No. 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 Where the hell? Oh, open the build menu. Ah, got it. Yay. The salvage tool active. Right, click on the cables. Fine. That's what you get for not reading the top bit, GD. Wait for the arrival of the rocket, then land it near the base. Um, I don't know, we'll put it... We'll put it up there, I suppose. The supplies from Earth have arrived, and we can use them to expand the base. Construct a power accumulator and connect it to the power grid. You may want to construct some additional solar panels and wind turbines in advance. Maybe. Let's pop in some... Let's pop in a wind turbine, shall we? Let's do that. There. Let's see if we can sustain a power accumulator. There. I'm fairly sure I can get <laughs> rid of that. Fortunately, there is a water deposit nearby. Construct and power a water extractor. Construct a water extractor <gasps> near the water deposit. Then That's power it up. That's a bit close. Put it there then. You and me both, Paul. You and me both, dude. That is... <sighs> Stranded Deep is one of them games... If you can let... If you can get yourself on a decent... Um... Island where you can um, like get yourself uh, fresh water and stuff when it rains. Then um, you should be fine. It is just a matter of waiting until you get yourself where you need to be. But you, you, you'll get there eventually. Um, power. I need some wire somewhere from... Well, we'll go from there then to... There. I'm presuming we had enough power. The water extractor is ready, but we don't have a storage for the water it will extract. Construct a water tower and connect it to the water extractor with pipes. Right. Water tower. Let's pop that in down. Let's pop that up here. Um, water pipes. We're going to go from here. 
here to Why is that not? Ah, cool. I didn't think I was connected. The time has finally come. Awesome. The first dome that will house our colonists. <sighs> there ain't Paul really. It's it's um it's so randomized. But if you can just get yourself with, um, I think to build a water, water still, because water is the main thing that you're going to struggle with, because the only way you can get fluid to start with is to drink coconut milk, and that will just give you the two bob bits, so you got to be a bit careful with that, and then that if you get if you do that then it gets you dehydrated and just makes you even more thirsty so the water still is the first thing to get and i think it's something like tarpaulin sticks a few rocks but you need a coconut thing so you have to make a like a coconut flask out of a coconut and as soon as you've got that as long as it rains that's fine um but you you need to go to different islands to get different sorts of resource so you always have to work out which way you're i always do one island hop at a time so i will say look you could you can see then at the next island so you go right i'm going straight for that one and then when you get there you point your dinghy back the way you want to go back home to where your island is and do that and hop out one island each way and then go two islands and work your way out from there so, until you find yourself a compass, and then you can just mark your island down. Right, construct a basic dome. This will take a long time, so you might want to speed things up. This is, this is, this is fine. Uh, a basic dome, it's not a problem. So it's building, and opening the build menu. What? Domes? Basic dome. Kaboom. I can't wait to do one of these. I cannot wait to build a dome. That is just going to be so cool. Oh man, we can get like right on the floor. How cool is that? You can't speed up at all though. Got fire water but ran out. There. <laughs> You've had no rain in game yet. Really, dude. Yeah, that's... The thing is, I mean, your water still. When I when I was playing it, you drain food and water drains really quickly. You know, when you're playing stuff like the forest, it's easy to build a water still in the forest. Just go and kill two or three turtles. Go grab yourself some sticks, and you're away. You've got like you know two or three um water stills which is fine and you can just take a little bit out but with the with stranded deep you get like four pipettes of water which is what i call them and uh you know once you've drunk them that's it you're still as empty until it rains again so if you can find more than one still if you can make more than one that kind of works but Stranded Deep is probably one of the hardest survival games, apart from Satisfactory, not Satisfactory, um, Subsistence. Apart from that, Stranded Deep is probably one of the hardest survival games I've had to try and play. But you'll find that once you are up and running, it 
does become a lot easier. Once you get everything you need, you can then start foraging about and looking for your bits and pieces so you can build your boat and stuff. So I will try and get back into Stranded Deep. I'll try and do a couple of live streams on it. It's like I just, I need to start, um... Oh damn, what am I doing here then? There's, no one else is doing anything, what do I need? Oh, oh man, I need metals. Right, so I need the RC transport. And I need you to search for metals, my friend. Which is over here? Is that metals? Go and have a look. What are you going to get me from over here? Yes! I think we just needed like four or five, which is good. Um, what can I get you to unload actually? Let's get you to unload that onto there, and then they should take that into there. Hopefully. Here we go. So they should now start manoeuvring these back into here. Good. Look at it build. Look at it build. Diddly 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 diddly. Boom. The dome is complete, but we have to supply it with water, power, and oxygen before we can use it. Okay. All right, we'll just have to run water pipe to it, I suppose. Connect the newly constructed dome to the existing water and power grids. Construct a moxie power. Oh, con no, construct a moxie. Power it and connect it to the dome to provide an air supply. Okay, so a moxie. Um, if I pop that there, there's got to be an easier way to to to, to actually do that, like construct things to make it more because it's all hexagonal grid patterned. It's a little bit odd. Oops. Right, so if we can go from here now, um, we need power, power cable, we'll take you from there. To there. Right. So that should give us power to it now I need to no do oh come on what fine right so we need um, just normal pipes, transport water and oxygen. Okay, so that needs to go from there to there. Now we need to go from water. Pipes, so we're going to go from resources are low here. Oh, can I go straight into there as well? It's looking that way. 
And then we need to power it up, I'm presuming. So, we can do that by... Power... Power cables... Well done. Yay! We the simulation successfully. We've got another 10 minutes. We'll have a look. Welcome back, Commander. In this tutorial, you will finally familiarize yourself with the challenges of sustaining a society on Mars. Everything done fine was a prelude to this very moment, the arrival of the Founders. Okie dokie. The foundations for bringing your first colonists have already been laid down. One of the final things left to do is to provide the founders with living space. Living complexes are built inside the dome. The space within the dome is limited, so each building has to be carefully planned. Construct a living complex at the indicated location. Okay, living complex. Where the hell? Ah, homes, education, and research. Living complex. Um, you're gonna start building, please? Speed up a bit. No way, look, I'm coming in out of there, look. How awesome is that? With all preparations complete, no way. The colony is ready for the arrival of the founders. Oh, okay. Order a passenger rocket from the re... Oh my god, from the resupply screen. Passenger rocket, please. From uh. this screen, you can inspect all available applicants and determine which ones will travel to the colony. Oh my god. So I've got five with no specialisation, one botanist, two engineers, and one geologist. Oh. Colonists are organized by their age, but you can set desired and undesired traits. Colonists with more of the desired traits will board the rocket while colonists with any undesired traits will be rejected. You may want to review and hand pick individual candidates for the founders. Kind of, Paul. Kind of. Uh, can I rename it first? Um, no hope. There we go. Lovely. Launch. Um, arrive on Mars with a small amount of food. Give me one second, guys. Not last long. We need to make sure that they will be able to produce their own food on the red planet. <laughs> the hydroponic farm can produce food. Although the colonists can take food directly from a food depot, they will be happier if they can pick it up from a grocery. Oh, lovely. Wireless headphones, love it. <laughs> it's only got to put them down. Right, colonists will revive on Mars, blah, 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 blah. Construct a hydroponic farm. Oh, we're going for hydroponics. Well, we know what this we know what this planet's all about. A hydroponic farm and a grocer inside your dome. Um. Right. Okay. Um. I'm presuming we're doing this. Do life support really? Okay. A hydroponic farm. Oh, it's 
so I can rotate. That kind of works better. I'll pop that in there. Right, and a grocer, really. Dome services. This is just... Getting weirder and weirder. Right, well what I'm going to do, I'm going to keep playing this until I do the tutorial. And then hopefully I can start my colony in another live stream. What's this? Colonists need service buildings to keep them comfortable on Mars. The grocery that you already constructed is one such service building. <laughs> different services satisfy different interests colonists may have. A colonist will feel more comfortable inside a dome which is its interest covered but you don't need to cover every interest and in smaller dome this might not be very okay if the comfort of colonists falls too low they may become earth sick decide to leave mars and go back to earth however martian born colonists will never get earth sick so we need to make 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 the babies and uh, we'll be fine Construct a space bar. Uh, what? Oh, what? Like a proper pub? Whereas Gray still plays, says Fulick Bar. Construct a space bar inside the dome. Space bar. Yes. Why are these not manned yet then? Only, only GD could build a pub on Mars. Wait for the passenger rocket to arrive. Land it near the dome. Uh, that looks like a plan. Uh, really? Got no drinks left, any water? Scumbag. New colonists have arrived. They go, look, 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 people! Great. Now that you have a space bar, you can customize its work settings. Disable one job slot in every active shift. What? Whoa! How cool is that? These chairs are well cool! <laughs> Love it! Right, what do I have to do again? Select the space bar and... on one of the work slots. Right. Um. Crop failure reported. Oh great! No edible food has been harvested. Full of hope and determination, the first founders have set foot on the red planet. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. Crop failure, it's like farm sim all over again. Um, what was it? On one of the work slots in the first two shifts until the slot is shown in red. What? Use passengers for work? Is that what I need to click on? Disable one work slot per active shift in the spacebar by 
the following steps. Select the space bar. Ah, gotcha. I thought I already had. Oh, is it? Typical. No, hang on. Wait. Select the space bar on one of the work slots in the first two shifts until the slot is shown in red. Okay. Fires the work run until the slot shown in red. Hang on, the first. There. Ah, gotcha. Right. Oh, hang on, the first two shit. Colonists at working age are able to fill any position, but how well they perform at a certain position varies between colonists. Construct a research lab inside the dome. This is this is weird man. Construct. Work shifts, among other things, are a way to manage your workforce. The more shifts a building has open, the more colonists it will attract to work there. Colonists don't like to work at night and will lose sanity while doing so. Furthermore, you may activate the heavy workload option, which boosts the performance of the building during that shift. Um, but inflict sanity and health problems on the workers due to the increased stress at their job. Activate the second work shift. Haven't I just done that though? Haven't I just... Buildings with higher priority will be allocated workers, power and maintenance before others. Okay. On-site research is very important for the long-term prosperity and survival of your colony, so let us prioritise it. Set the priority of the research lab to high. Um, drop down to 720, doll. Try, try to stop watching in 1080. That works for me sometimes. Sometimes when I'm watching VF, sometimes I have to, I have to drop to 480 sometimes to watch. The research lab up and running. Let's begin research with some technologies from the research screen. Queue at least three of the available technologies. Q3 of the available technologies, okay. Um, let's do those three. Congratulations. You have provided everything needed for a successful Ooh. founder stage. The founder stage takes 10 souls to complete. Be careful. If all of your colonists die during this period, the mission will be terminated. Really? 
Having a baby born on Mars before the end of this period would also complete the founder stage. This can happen if the comfort of your colonists is very high. Rip me. You have completed the tutorial for the founder stage. Right, last tutorial. You watching 1080? Yeah, sometimes I can, sometimes I can't. So it's Welcome just back. one of those things. In this tutorial. This is the last tutorial, guys. So I'm going to do this before I do anything else. As you expand your base and try to obtain various resources scattered across the map, you will inevitably end up with a colony that consists of several domes. This tutorial will introduce you to a lot of the typical situations that you can expect to come up in a big colony. Wow. Shuttles can transport resources and colonists across great distances. Great distances? You're kidding, aren't you? Construct a shuttle hub. Holy cow, what's going on? Shuttle hub. Beep bop, boop bop. In. And I presume we need to connect it via some electricity. Don't do that, scumbag. Coming online. Now that we have operational shuttles, it's time to establish a mining dome. A mining dome? Colonists can work in some outside buildings placed close to their dome, such as extractors. Oh, excuse me. For metals and rare metals. Since colonists will be needed for the extraction of these underground deposits, it is a good practice to place domes near such deposits, as is the case in this simulation. Construct a rare metals extractor next to the rare metals deposit. Connect it to the power grid. Rare metals extractor. Boom. Power grid. Let's find the power source here. There we go. That should be tickety boo, I think. I don't think. I don't think this is going to end well when we actually start building our own colony. There are no colonists in the mining dome. We must provide living space for the colonists so they can move there. Once you provided the dome with living space, colonists from other domes will be able to resettle in it provided it is within walkable distance or there are available shuttles to fly them there construct a living complex inside the mining dome okay we did this before didn't we living complex don't forget to provide basic services for the citizens of your new dome space bar and grocer right so we have to remember that Definitely need a space bar. And we always require a grocer. There. So once you put down a settlement, we need a space bar and a grocer. They're the two main things that it's telling me to do at least. And they don't like to work at night. Every dome to attract colonists with desired traits and block or push out colonists with undesired ones. <laughs> push out. Take a spacewalk, dude. <laughs> Scumbag. Select the dome and open the filter screen from its info panel. Being near a rare metals deposit, this dome is best suited as a mining hub. 
so it's best to encourage geologists to migrate here. Okay. Activate the thumbs up icon for geologists and the thumbs down one for scientists. Ah, gotcha. Um, scientists, geologists, yes. Apply. This dome has been designated for research purposes, so it's best to attract more colonists with the scientist specialization. Okay. So research requires scientists. Okay. We're going to go yes and no. Colonists can migrate between domes using shuttles or walking when they are positioned close to one another. Really? They cannot usually visit buildings in nearby domes on a daily basis unless they are connected to their own dome. Construct a dome at the indicated location. Ah, so when you place a dome, oh, I see. Why is that one called Kellogg? A small dome suitable for an early, age, early days of the Connolly. Kellogg. Wow. Right, so we need a dome. We need a basic dome. And that is going to go right there. So when that like that grid comes up, as long as we can connect, so that now means that this dome is connected to this. I thought we had to connect like via tunnels and stuff, but it seems that if it's not too far to walk, you can just walk to the next dome. It's like just nipping across to the shop, isn't it? Where are these plain? Oh man, what's going on over here? So this is a completely different dome. Is this the one we've just built, actually? Yeah. Yeah, so these spaceships are now transferring stuff. No way. Okay, I got it. Kind of. Here we go. Construct two farms in the new dome. They will be used as workplaces for the colonists in the old dome once the domes are connected. Two farms? Comes under life support. Ah. See, now that's a farm not yet available. Just the hydroponics then, that's fine. Oh. Left shift to place more than one. Uh, why have we got no power? Domes positioned closely to each other may be connected with passages. Farming in Mars, I know. Connect the research dome. Oh, here we go, look, tunnels. I was right. With a newly constructed dome with a passage. do it um okay how do we do that exactly domes passages what is it like from here connect the two nearby domes with the pa what 
Did you know that you can open the build menu? Yes, I did. Like that, see? Passage. Let's go from there. To there. Why can't you just go from like a door to a door? It's very odd. Good job. There we go. And the two of the connected colonists from the first can start working in the newly. The first and third dome. The passengers will also connect the two domes for the purpose of distributing power, water, and oxygen. Okay. Cool. So we don't have to. As long as it's connected to one of these, it doesn't need to do anything else. That's pretty cool. Some buildings can have upgrades that can improve them in various ways. Research the extractor amplification tech from the research screen. That one. Crop failure reported. Uh oh. Surely you can't die in the tutorial, can you? Sure that 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 can't no no. That 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 can't be a thing. Yes, yeah, so I'm waiting. Why well, you stopped at thirty nine percent? You haven't, that's fine. So we just have to wait. As it stands now, being quarter past seven, I probably won't stream again today, so we'll probably do my summer car tomorrow night now. My summer car will be Saturday night. Congratulations. With the research complete, a new upgrade for your extractors is now available. Select the water extractor and then select the indicated upgrade icon. Buildings. You must construct it first. <laughs> like I said, I don't think you can die in the tutorial. <laughs> nice work. The upgrade has been constructed. I think I can... I won't be able to... to building a base is going to be horrific. I think I need to be more the focused on where we're putting stuff. Of information about the colony. Open the command center and try it out. What the?
What if I don't want to? So there's 110 buildings. We've got 82 waste rock. We've got 34 colonists. See, there's nowhere on here does it say deaths. But we've got no homeless, no unemployed, and no problematic. Building colours. No. Wow. Wow. Life support grids. You're not wrong, Sherlock. You are not wrong. Oh, tell me you can change their names. Oh, you can't. That was a shame. I was hoping you could we could change their names. That'd be cool. Congratulations, Commander. You have graduated from the International Mars Mission Training Simulation. I don't, I don't, I don't want to. Drake's glutton. Well, that, that, that's that then. So now in the next live stream, we should be able to go into a new game. I'll have to do this tomorrow. So I might stream. I don't know. There might be an afternoon stream. I might not do farm sim tomorrow. So we'll do my summer car tomorrow night. And maybe this tomorrow afternoon. I won't put it on YouTube. But if I can get my head around it, I wouldn't mind trying that Green Planet DLC. If I can get my head around it. <laughs> 